from the Mitcham News and Mercury, the 11th of September 1970, page 1. This is Merton Council's air-conditioned computer headquarters, hidden away at the top of the town hall in Wimbledon Broadway. The two girls, Mrs. Kathleen Faulkner on the left and Miss Pam Smith keep it fed with information. When the familiar buff envelope of a rates demand drops through thousands of letterboxes all over the borough next month it will be by courtesy of a computer, and it will be the watchful eye of the computer that makes sure the rates get paid. Merton stepped into the computer age last year when the five-foot square, Miracle, was dropped into its office at the top of the town hall by Crane. Now the first trial year is over and already it has taken over and finished in nine days a job that took clerical staff two months. Stored away on magnetic tape taking up a fraction of the storage space previously needed is the name, address and assessment of every one of Merton's 47,000 ratepayers. Even more important, fed with the right information the computer can tell almost immediately who still has to pay. We keep files of names, addresses and how much are the rates in the cash file which shows us who has paid and who still owes us money said computer manager Mr. Raymond Deal. Before the days of the computer the filing and preparation was all done manually, and that took two months hard work. Now our five-foot square box can do it in nine days. Another long job the computer has taken over is the council's weekly payroll. Now the familiar slip in every pay packet is no longer produced by human hand, it comes off the computer in half the time. We have been paying the weekly wages like this for some time. It is a much quicker way and so far no complaints said Mr. Deal. Another job lined up for the computer in its air-conditioned attic, the atmosphere must be dust-free, is the borough's electoral register. The new one is due in 1971. We have already got all the information punched out. It is all ready now to be fed onto magnetic tape. It will be so much easier this way rather than leaving it all to the printers who had to make all the alterations and amendments by hand. Now all we have to do is feed in amendments as they come up and present the printers with the list. Then they just print off the copies. And is the computer worth the £2,000 a month rent the council pay? It is worth every penny, said Borough Treasurer Mr. W.A.C. Roop. It is certainly not a luxury. We are not just keeping up with the Joneses by having it installed. We had to get one to cope with the work we do here. And after the first year I think we can say we have been very successful. By next year things should be going even better. It took a team of strong men and a crane to install Merton Council's latest piece of computer equipment in the town hall, Wimbledon. For over an hour on Sunday they struggled to hoist the new 1,000-line-a-minute printer into place via a scaffolding platform, a hoist and an emergency door. It went up by crane to a platform on the roof, across the roof and was dropped down the other side of the building to an emergency door. Then the 6-foot by 4-foot package was manhandled down the corridors into place in the air-conditioned computer center. It was a very tricky operation to get it into place. The only way of getting the thing into the building was over the roof said computer operations manager Mr. Hillary Walton. The new printer will put the computer's annual rental bill up by another £4,500. But we have got a lot of work to get out and the machinery will make a big difference in speeding up production, said computer manager Mr. Raymond Deal.